Hey people, it's your boy Yanshin Man back with another video and today I'll be reviewing the PLDH Pro uh, dashboard and windshield tablet universal holder. That's a long ass title. Anyway, I picked this up from uh, Amazon. As you can see here. I paid 20 bucks for it. Uh, basically got it for my um, my uh, Galaxy Fold. That way I can put it on the dash but have it open and not just close to the you know the front screen. Oh yeah, I can see it in my bag. Like I said, it was 20 bucks, so we're gonna see how it works. I currently have a, um, a holder, but I'm looking for something a little more sturdy, so I thought I'd give this a try. All right, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, and share this video. Uh, be sure to drop your comments below, and I'll get back to you, I'll respond back to you at my earliest convenience. Uh, so this is a two-part video, uh, not too long. Uh, I'm gonna unbox it and then I'm gonna show the video of it uh, in my car. All right. So a little bit around the box, real quick. Between seven and ten inches. Shows how you mount it or picture of it being mounted. A little clip for it to adjust the uh, the size of it. All right. Let's see. In the box. Okay. So this, uh, let's see what this is. What kind of platform or whatnot? Oh, this is the. Um, this is this piece that sits on your dash. A little flat piece there. Let's see the suction on it here. All right. This looks like a holder for the tablet. And that's how you adjust it and lock it in place. Oh yeah, that's not going nowhere. Let's see here real quick. Let's pop it in and lock it in place. Oh yeah. And it's got rubber stoppers. I don't know if you can see them on the inside of here. On all four legs. Keep it from damaging the side of your phone. Let's see if I can show it to you. Let's see right here. On each side. And all this is foam. So that's a plus. Alright, let's see what we got here. So that piece will go on the back, yeah. And this locks in. And you adjust it as you go. And then it's, this piece is pretty heavy. Oh no, I see. This is for the vent clip. And this is for the dash. Let's hope this hole. I'm very skeptical of the uh, gel adhesive because of the heat in Texas I feel like I'm just going to be constantly picking it up off the floor uh, because the heat is going to destroy the adhesiveness but according to this lock here and the instructions supposed to twist and lock into place I guess with that so like I said, we'll, we'll set it up, or I'll set it up. Oh, that's cool. I'll set it up with my car, and I'll start the video back. All right, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I'm in my car. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon in Texas. And this is what I'm currently using for my fold uh, devices. All right. Pop it right in just like that. Alright, this piece here. Just ran down. This piece on the bottom. 
It's a spring mounted spring set. So the whole any size screen between seven inches and uh, 10 inches. Okay. This piece on top, it's adjustable when you lock it in place. So when I got the car, it's easy to pop out. Just like that. Just cheap in this case. Can't wait till my good one come here. Anyway, so I got the small piece mounted for your vent clip. Which I like this one. It feels pretty strong. All you do is hook it in on the hook it in on the back there. Spin this until it's tight. Anyway, this is how it looks. Okay, and that's a little hook piece, so it goes in the back of your vents. And you turn it. So it gets tight. Okay, just like that. Alright. Then you take the phone bracket. That's that one. And then on the back, like I showed you in the video, there's a latch. You adjust that piece. Okay. So I'm pop my logo in. I mean my uh, fold in. Oh. It's kind of hard to do, y'all. Hold on. Coming off, snapped in place. The bracket is in place. I showed you the rubber stoppers, so your phone's not being damaged. Take that one out, and then you can also turn it sideways if you choose to. Okay, that's a better view. So I left my other phone at home, so I'm currently recording with my white phone. Just wondering about the purple case. Okay. So that's it for the vent mount. I'm going to pause the video and set up the dash mount. So for the dash mount, you got a few options. Um, I see the little holes in there, and I, I'm guessing you could screw this in, but I, I wouldn't recommend it doing it to your car. Uh, so it gives you the option to peel off um, the sticky gel material, just drop it on top or windshield, or wherever you choose to put it. Dash, maybe it's for your passenger seat, driver's seat, stick it down. But for demonstration purposes, we're gonna see it right here, okay? Okay, so you can see. I got it on there. It's on there pretty good. But like I said, my concern with this gel material was this Texas heat. You know, how long can your car sit in this Texas heat? Or heat anywhere. Texas heat is extreme on some days. Uh, without your mount, you know, being on the floor when you get back to the car. Because it's gel material on this end too. Now, even though it gives you the option to to lock it in as you can see right there so once you set it on top here and you twist and it locks in place so but again the heat so i have it mounted i got it locked in place it's on there pretty good as i would expect but again how long can it sit like that in the sun so i guess if your car if you're going to use it this way or even on your window, which would be even worse because uh, glass attract heat. Uh, I would suggest putting up a sun visor if you're gonna put it here and your car sits out in the sun for a couple of hours. 
uh, like mine do when I'm at work. That's just my wife getting in the car. But I would suggest putting up a sun visor and keep some of the heat off of it. Anyway, that's it though. So this knob here allows you to adjust the neck. And then there's one here that allows you to lock it in place. Okay. And then also one here. Let's see. Of course the one on the side here to lock this in for your bracket. So let's put it on. See how sturdy it holds. Good thing about this, just lock your phone in place. You can go from this attachment to that attachment. All right. So let's see here. So it's locked in. You can already see the phone is heavy as hell. Then it immediately dropped. But I just tighten it up in the stair. All right. Turn it sideways. Like I said, it's locked in. All right. Very adjustable. That's nice. So if you're on a long road trip and you're trying to watch as you navigate, set up there. You know, if you're texting and driving, which it shouldn't be, tap the screen, you can go. All right. Overall, I think it's worth twenty dollars I spent on it. Um, I do recommend it. I really like this one here. I probably use this piece more. It's a little closer to me, and I feel like it's gonna be more sturdy than this uh, because of the hook on the back. I mean, it's not going anywhere. As always, like, share, subscribe to my channel, drop your comments below. And I'll reply as soon as I can. Alright. Just boy, yes, man, I'm out.